Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you. Today, yes, we are going to take a look at another Asus product. It's just because Asus got in really early with their press days. We've got lots more content coming for you later on in the week as the brands let us A, go live with NDAs, but B, when we actually are allowed to go and see the brands themselves. Asus just got in really, really early. Now, the two things that we're going to be looking at today are the Azoth Extreme, which is a keyboard, and the Harp Extreme, which is a new mouse. Well, kind of uh, uh, they've already got harps out, but they've really upped the ante with it. So, the keyboard, the Azoth Extreme. The, the, honestly, this thing deserves the Extreme name in reality, and so many other times when Asus use it, they don't. But this thing is engineered so well, but also weighs a ton. Just that back plate that the keyboard goes onto is a single piece of aluminium that's been 3D CNC machined, and it is beautiful. But like I said, it weighs a ton. It adds so much rigidity and it's going to give it a very good firm placement on your desk. They weirdly then have put in some uh, leaf springs inside and bumpers to be able to allow it with a flick of a switch on the back to be able to give you a hard or a soft typing uh, experience, which is really, really cool. It's underneath a little nameplate on the back. The keys are held together in a carbon fiber positioning plate, which keeps, this is the weird bit, it keeps the weight down, but allows more bounce without it breaking. So I think really it's got nothing to do with weight itself. It's more about the fact that it can move and it isn't gonna fracture uh, or crack. It's gonna have a lot more um, uh, of a longer lifespan. Talking about lifespan, the battery, 1600 hours on a single battery charge which is insane. Uh, it's got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and it is wired. Uh, so they tick a lot of boxes with that. And you do get an 8K Hertz polling rate booster that comes with the uh, keyboard. But this will be a, let you connect all of your other Asus products in through it as well. So that's a really cool touch. The mouse, the Harp Extreme. This is special. Uh, that is genuine carbon fiber. When I first put it in my hand, I'm gonna be honest, I thought it was plastic. I thought it was hydro dip plastic because of how thin and light that uh, mouse is. Now that um, shell is just 47 grams. The, the shell itself is so very, very thin and then they overlay it onto a plastic kind of skeleton underneath. Uh, it takes one person, they can only make one of those shells at a time and it takes them 45 minutes to make it. I've seen the actual like bubble part and just the shell itself, and it is such a thin piece of uh, carbon fiber, but the weave is all still there. And talking about the weave, if you have a look at the pattern, you can see that the weave matches from the actual shell itself up into the switches. Now that in itself is an attention to detail that is quite a pain in the ass, but then also is incredibly difficult to do. Uh, something else that I will say uh, about the mouse is they haven't really given us any details about sensors or extra switches or anything like that. So it is very early days uh, and they haven't given us prices or anything either, but I can't imagine these are ever going to be considered good value unless you, they are going to be basically like the Bugatti Veyron or Chiron of uh, your accessories that you're going to have on your desk. Um, I personally, I'm not a light mouse user, but if you're in for a light, really high quality uh, mouse, or you just love carbon fiber, then this is definitely going to be the range of products for you. And I really, really hope Asus start using carbon fiber more and more going forward. But for now at least, this is Tiny Tom Logan with a very early hands-on look of the Azoth Extreme and the Harp Extreme out.